Yo familia, what's happening? What's good, friendlies and non-friendlies? How is everybody doing? Back with some strats for Dragon. I know it's been a minute, and I got some something to share. Uh, first and foremost, you guys and gals might want to check out this fact. It's going to have a lot of the tools, the strategies, the tech that I've gone through in the past, along with some new strats and tech that I have not talked about. And it may be worth your while. You can take it offline, copy and paste it and whatnot. I'm going to update it again multiple times, most likely. But I just want to let y'all know. I'll put it in the comment sections below. What we're going to be talking about today is two discoveries that I've made. So to do the double jump, you want to start off in a DAS state. And from that, jump, then jump again, plus attack. That is jump, then jump again, and attack. And in doing this, you get a successful jump into a double jump. Now, <clears throat> things to be cautious about. One flaw, you have to do this from a dash. That's the, the big flaw of this. That means that depending on the type of map that you're on, it won't be something that you can do. If you're on a world map, you can do this all day long. No problems here. In fact, that's the only place that you can do this. If you're on decor maps, decorations, castles, bridges, the works, questionable looking platforms, don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. And the reason why is because <clears throat> you're not really on top of these platforms. You're always in a state where you're just slightly above the platforms. Anytime that you go into the dash on these platforms, you're technically not on solid ground. And it's because these decor maps don't have a solid base to them. You know, there's no boundaries in them. The only boundary is on the world map. So, whenever you do the Ren dash on these platforms, Ren is actually in a flight state. You're technically flying. And because of that, you try to do the double jump on these platforms. Instead, you get a teleport down below. So, that's why you can't do the double jump on the core maps. But Luckily, there aren't that many decoration type of maps in the game. You know, maybe a few dungeons are, are, are mostly filled with them, with like fake bottoms that have pitfalls, and you, you want to be cautious about that. But for the most part, you can double jump all day long, right? So it's not that big of a deal. You just have to be careful, be mindful, and hell, maybe you want to teleport. Number two is this is the same command as the Ren Hara. Hiri, where it instantly kills her. So, if you don't have your dual button commands on point, they're not precise, you accidentally press one button before the other, then there is a high percentage chance that you're instead going to kill Red instead of <laughs> getting the double jump. Now, there is a way around that. If you do this very early on in the animation, then you don't have to worry, even if you mess up the command, you won't kill Ren. You'll just get a sloppy version of whatever it was that he's going to do. And so, doing it early is recommended. Early in the startup of the jump, just mash out those buttons, you know. If you wanted to do get more height from the double jump, then you could time it at the higher arcs of Ren's jump. But when you're doing it at that stage, you're in the kill zone. So keep that in mind. You're in kill range. So at this point, you want to make sure that you're very precise in your dual commands. When you go from the dash state, you again, you press jump, then jump again, plus attack. That jump plus attack is what's going to get you killed or what's going to get you your double jump. Have at it, my friends. Moving on, um, we have an alternative way to dash, that is the attack variation of a dash. 
you know, and it's nowhere near as good as the regular version, as we're already at this point, we're calling it regular, um, because this attack dash is not continuous, and it acts just like the parry version of the dash, without the shield. So, uh, let's get the, the cons out the way first. Uh, you can't do this these on decoration maps because this also acts like the who turn the who turn <laughs> So it also acts just like that So you can't do it there, but you can do it anywhere and everywhere else Now to do this um, you do the following command you want to do a straight jump Plus another strafe jump, then attack. You don't have to do a dual command, although it, it, it helps if you do a dual command because it you know, your buttons come out faster, but it's entirely up to you. As long as you're comfortable at getting all of these buttons out before Ren actually leaves the ground, you have to jump, then jump, then attack. You have to hit those three buttons out before Ren leaves the ground. And as long as you're strafing, diagonal, upper corners then you're good you got the attack dash now because it's not continuous you don't have to tap the left stick you just hold the left stick forward and you get your maximum amount of speed with it um but it does come with some value even though it's nowhere near as good as the ren dash it does come with value and that's that you can chain it continuously it just it just demands a bit more execution. You can also go into the, the attack dash from a backflip, then a straight jump into an attack. Um, it's probably other ways, you know, uh, but those are the most comfortable ways that you can pull it off. Um, so what were I talking about? What was I, what was I talking about? Oh, the chaining. You can chain these back and forth. So in order to chain it, go into the attack dash then the following chain whenever you want to chain into the attack dash you don't have to input the full command the following chain you input is just strafe jump and attack so you don't have to press that extra jump button you just press strafe jump and attack you can just press it just be one button press strafe jump plus attack you know it, it's just that simple and that's actually going to be the key to doing this the most consistently um, because you can buffer in that input in the middle of the dash and let's say you've just done the attack dash and now Ren's running and attacking you input another one you hold it you hold it you hold the diagonal on the left stick you hold you jump you hold the attack make sure you press them both at the same time and when the animation finishes when it's going to automatically go into another one as long as you're holding everything down and then you can do it again buffer it in again and she's going to do it again buffer it in again she's going to do it again now here's where the, the attack dash becomes cool even though it's nowhere near as good as the Ren dash you can cancel out of the attack dash into the ren dash just by pressing circles and then start flicking the left stick so now we're in this this combo chaining sort of thing and then you can chain from the ren dash and go back into the attack dash now to do this is a little bit tricky because you have to wait for the ren dash to finish now here's a secret tip that I've learned that it's the fastest way, to my knowledge, to get out of the Ren Dash as quickly as possible, naturally. To do this, make sure that you're holding everything down. Instead of flicking the left stick, when you're ready to end it, you hold the left stick forward. And then release the Ren Dash. Release everything, except for the analog stick forward. Ren should be going into a running state. And even if you let go of the analog stick, Ren should still be running. Now, she's going to only run for a short period of time. From there, buffer in the attack dash. Hold, jump, hold, attack, hold, left stick, hold the strafe, the whole nine yard. And once Ren finishes, 
at the earliest convenience, at the earliest possibility, the earliest possible point that she can. She's going to go into the attack dash. And there you have it. <laughs> you can chain. That's how you chain into it. Now, you could wait and try to time it yourself and just wait till you see the animation of her dropping down. You could do that. It's kind of random, so it's not really reliable. But, you know, you can, you can do it. But if you do it where you buffer it in the input, you're always going to get it on point at the earliest convenience. Voila. That's how you chain into the attack dash. And chain out of the attack dash into the rend dash and you can go back and forth back and forth for as long as you're capable of keeping it going and there you have it and you know not nothing game changing but it's cool to have the double jump is definitely the most important one here because that is actually useful the double jump allows you to clear a lot of gaps it allows you to jump further and it also allows you to maintain the height while you're jumping further to give a quick example the, at the ice column stage at the very beginning there's a stone structure of blocks at the very you know back of the stage i was able to clear that with the double jump not the whole thing but i was able to get on top of it and, and make it to the top with the double jump i couldn't do that with the other jumps and that's because you can jump from further away and still maintain the same amount of height and because of that you can start your jump from a higher positioning on the map and it's clear large distances and you know it, it, it's basically the highest jump available in the game um that's all that i really wanted to talk about today you know there's this couple more that that i have you know, in my pocket <laughs> some of them are going to be in the fact some of them, I'm about to tell you right now, uh, there's Otto, oh, Ren, I mean, what's what's the dragon's name? Stimpy? Arok, Arok, Arok can auto attack if you time going into the menu at the same time as you attack. You know, he'll just start auto attacking all by himself. You know, and you can just do some menu surfing, drink some potions, make sure that you don't die. So basically, with that, you want to make sure, or it's best to have like a tracking type of weapon. Um, and that way you don't really have to do anything. Uh, there's a couple others, but they're going to be in the fact, and some of them are going to be in this video too, and it's going to be a compilation of old footage that I have. Some of them have commentary, some of them don't, but I'll leave y'all with that, and I hope everybody's having themselves a great and wonderful Peace be with, always keep your heads up, deuces, those both ideals, stay cool, and if you like this content, be sure to sow some love, but always be sure to sow that love to the people who matter to you. This is IT, I'll bidding you farewell, peace, much love, and stay cool, deuces. spell to be have an object in front of you at least with the the fireball mostly her right arm is like the key pivotal to this so the more you are to her right she gets stuck 
So if you angle it just right, you get quick fireballs, or what I would call <laughs> Vegeta's technique. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. Mana potions that you get in the game. There's really no use for them, but this kind of incentivizes them. Gonna bring out the fireball again. So we're inside, obviously against the block. You know. So I I'm on this lab. We're actually in the lab right now. <laughs> We're just in a lab, you know, trying to uncover more strats. I don't think there's going to be a way to do this with the shield. I mean, with the lunging spells. The final bitch of the animation for that spell is when the spell actually comes out. That's why the fireball can be canceled out of me. She throws the fireball when she's still on the right side, but she comes over even more to her left, which allows her to cut it off so short. The lunge, she lunges all the way forward then he pauses and then he casts it so there's not really much room to work with there so i don't think you can cancel out of that one no i don't think it that's that's another one because it, it comes out at the tail end of the animation so also the soul steel soul steel also works but the fireball is just so much cooler. You don't even have to be locked on most of the times. You don't have to be locked on, although it helps. Um, depending on the spell, like for instance, <coughs> if we were to do, go back to fireball. I think fireball is the the best uh, damaging spell in the game, especially at level two. Level one is, is obviously the weakest, but level two, uh, it, it just seems like it has the most utility to it. If you were to look at the statistics, um, 15 damage, 17% of your, of your cost, and you compare that to level three, but, and level three is 18 damage, 20% cost. Percentage of the cost, that's the most important thing. It's not worth it. For the amount of mana that you have, you technically could get more for your buck with the level two's fireball instead of the level three. One, two, three, four, five. And then you barely get six. So we'll, we'll say five question mark. With level two fireball, we get uh, get it good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get seven clean. Seven clean. So you get not only do you get a wider spread, you get a, a longer lingering spread. But you also get more fireballs to distribute. Right? So yeah, that's what I think. I think level 2 fireball is the best attack spell in the game. If you could do it in rapid succession. Now, if you're just doing it straight up, then I understand. <laughs> I understand because of how slow it is. You want every bit of damage that you can get. Um, but... If you could just skip the recovery animation, level 2 is where it's at. And then you recover it. You know, you get another set. Of course it hurts you. It's gonna hurt you if you get caught up in it, so you don't wanna like, you know, get too wild and crazy. But it doesn't really hurt you that much. And you don't really have to aim it. That's the best thing about it. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. I'm trying to kill him in one shot. One more shot. But now, let's 
let's go mess around with the <laughs> the gang that we completely skip. Dashing is so fun. There we go. <laughs> I hit I hit one person. Strafe it, strafe it, strafe it, strafe it. I it's like a workout. <laughs> strafe it, strafe. Oh shit! Here we go again. <laughs> One eighty jump with the dash. We actually get like a bit of a first person perspective. So um, let's try that out. <laughs> get like this weird fishbowl no, you get some cool shots from doing this I can't fly here. 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 I can